Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator in the Franklin Garage. Please like and share and subscribe. Alright, I guess to the junkyard we shall go. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> to the junkyard we shall go. Start up the old girl. And drive to the junkyard. See what kind of junk's in there. Now I wish there was a point where I could actually edit this out so you don't got to deal with this loading screen because like I said in the last video I have a PS4 and I'm not able to really edit and well it takes longer than usual it's old but hey it still works actually works pretty good now that it got cleaned And if we can't find anything in the junkyard, then what we'll do is I'll go into my personal stock and we'll pull one out and we'll work on it. Except for, I think it's 60 minute video is a little too long. They only start doing 30 minutes. Maybe, we'll see. Alright, what do we got in the junkyard? Anything? That's the way I go. Nothing there. Oh no, not that. Funniest vehicle in the world is this. Especially if you put some real big tires on it, like what's on my truck on here. Oh, it's hilarious to look at. There might be one over there. Alright, let's see. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Huh. The knockoff version of the Nissan. Huh. They have cars sometimes hidden over in here. Down that aisle. Right here. I've even had them right here, back there. What is this? Salem Kiron front wheel drive turbo yeah I don't know maybe we'll come back if there's nothing else here nothing nothing yeah what the heck yeah no I'm good Well, that was a bust. One of my favorite cars in this game is the um, Mayan M3 V Dub. I think it's V Dub Track Edition or WV Track Edition. The Track Pack. It's a nice looking car. It's different to have an LS motor in it. it really is. And I also have an Impala, it's big wheeled. I mean 25 inch wheels on an Impala. Nice looking car. This is one of the most tedious, boring parts of the entire game. I'm waiting for it to load. back at the shop since we didn't find anything in the junkyard I'm going to look through my personal inventory uh, oh, that's not done uh, that's not a Thor that's a standard Thor's the upgraded version mm, that I don't think I put on the dyno yet 
Yeah, I went through a kick where this entire row is white. Here's the Bolt Cape MK7, which is like the Chevy Impala, the 95 era. It's a nice looking car. This is like the C4 Vet. In one of my other videos, I was looking through the junkyard and I spotted this car and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not interested. That's because I already had one made. I can't remember. Have I done this one yet? Let's bring it to the garage. Let's see. Let's take a little peek see. No, it looks done. The looks may be deceiving. Ooh, no it is not. Hmm. Now it's actually gonna run. Interior looks finished. Oh, it does run. Hmm. It's got a small block Chevy in it too. You can always tell by these two pipes that are almost Siamese to each other. Those one, two, three. Hmm. It's got a new fuel pump and fuel tank. No, not new fuel tank, but new fuel pump. You know what? We're not going to do this one this time around. That's my drag F350. It's 1600 horsepower. Uh, my Viper is done. 1100 horsepower. I made a video about that one. This car is done. This one's done. It's just not dynode huh yeah two wheel drive um. a lot of times I'll build a car and I won't dyno it That's the one I recreated from that Fast and the Furious. The Silver Skyline Paul Walker drove. Made this one for my daughter. What's up with all the chargers? I see that's another. Oh, that's the one I created to match Dom's. That I believe is my big wheeled one. Nope. Back to park and you go. which would be this one. Okay. Like I said, the suspension needs to be done, but the motor's all done to match the car. It's blue and white. Looks sharp, actually, in my opinion.
supposed to be a Turbo Edition Supra 2JZ. This one's here. Red GT40, it came that color. It's weird, I've never seen one. Normally it was blue and white like the picture there. Another one that I did, to, I believe, to match Fast and the Furious. I think it was Fast Five where Dom drove the maroon colored Super B or Super Bird and I went to create recreate that one. This one done. No. So you know what? We're gonna do this one. The car wash we go. panels no good no good no good bumper no good windshield definitely needs to be replaced rear bumper any good of course not all right car lift a now in my opinion this one seems like it has more room, but I think that's because it's all open right here. Yeah. Alright, what well says wheels? 14s or 15s? 14s. 75. Now I wonder if I can get a 25 inch to fit on here. Uh, yep. Not a lot of space, but I can. Hmm. Now, can I get a 25 inch to fit on the front? That'll be the question. Yes, I can. Cool. I get to do big wheels. Now, choice is which one will look good as a big wheel. Hmm. spend 12 grand on a set of wheels so I'm not going to get the Pagani Tempesta um, what I'm going to use now these are the ones that come on the newer generation Camaro in the game. I'm not sure I want to do those ones. You know what? I've done these ones on numerous cars and I tend to like them. Either that or I go with the oversized chrome wheels and... No, they're just not my, my forte. You know what? I'm gonna do these ones. Twenty-five. Two thirty-five. Twenty twenty-fives. I believe they are. 
Yeah, which means the back ones are 255, I think. Yeah, so we'll go 265, 2025s. Two twenty-five, two sixty-five for the rears, and we'll go two thirty-five for the front. Now, perfection. I just don't know what color I'm gonna go with this thing yet. I do like the red and black combination, but I just did a red car. Let's see what we can do. Now, of course, we're putting in a big motor into this thing. Biggest one we can find. Why am I buying them? So, I mean, I'm human, I make mistakes. It's like I went and bought the tail light too. Didn't need to, I already have it. Now, I'm not putting the front or rear bumpers on because those, uh, I don't like that fender. Or do I like this fender? Well, it does kind of got the chrome on it. And we'll come back to it. What? Huh. You know what? No, we are gonna. Pretty sure I already bought the mirror, but. Eh, what do you know? We need three of them for some reason, I guess. Try it with tail light B, see how that looks. What mirror did I put on the other side? Oh yeah, that's right, the stock one. And we'll try it with B. See how well that works out. The reason why I chose the standard headlights, not the upgraded versions, because they both look the same on here. There's like no difference. Alright, let's see. What colors does this car come with? I'm with the blue. Ooh, silver. Hmm. Almost like a flat gray and the black, which I already have. We can do black and we can do chrome. Then, if I do this one. The white one. Huh. And if I do this one. It's going to be blue and white. We 
be blue and white. Put it over here, let the paint cure down some. Get out of the paint booth so I can actually get in there and paint my wheels. a good white. I think they would, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but This style we run takes a lot. Not really, but. Drum brakes in the rear, so that's when we use axle housing B because it's either a coil spring or a leaf spring rear. Use the rear shock absorber B. If it were to be this one or this one or this one, you'd use A. Front end length B. All drive axles, upper suspension, and because it's drum brakes, you use wheel hub four. If it were disc brakes, you'd use wheel hub three. Because it's got drums, this makes zero sense to me. You only need to put bearings in the front. Two calipers, two caliper cylinders, two brake drums, two pads, cylinders and shoes each need two and go back over here to the engine and we go for the fuel tank wait I already bought some all right now we go in here and like I said I try to match like the cross member I'll do that teal color blue the rear axle I'll do the blue and then I'll end up color matching and color coordinating all the way through it. See, the white. Now this video I'm going to be doing it in two parts. Um, caliper. Ooh, that's nice. And the reason why I'm going to be doing it in two parts is because I'm only able to oh, blue spring, white. Because I'm only able to uh, do 60 minute videos and with the amount of deciding and choices to make if I don't do that it takes me roughly about 45 minutes to build a car start to finish and this, well, it's going to be a little bit longer than that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do two parts. I paint everything, and then I'm going to install it on the car, put the wheels on it. And then the next video, we'll put, build the motor, paint the motor, put it in the car, dyno it. We might actually take it to the drag strip. Yeah. 
the release spring plates I'll do that in the same color as the axle the leaf springs themselves oops, are white the u-bolts that go over top the axle are going to be white my shocks I always do black just kind of makes it easier that's why I do them last uh, the front springs I'll probably do might do performance on it figuratively speaking so I'll paint them red which it could be like if it were IRL it'd be like eye box springs so you can paint them red but all right the rear axle Am I missing something? Oh, good grief, I didn't even paint the front cross member. Huh. Slipping. That's okay, we'll get back to it. We'll do it right now. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. These, oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Alright, I guess it's this time. Oh, wait, no, I said I was going to do those red. Everything else seems to be done except for this factor already bought the tires After this shock, everything should be painted. Yep. Party. Back to car lift day. Alright. Up, up, and away. that over there. I don't think there's an oil pan. No, I'm not going to worry about doing that. Makes me wonder on 
how some parts are already missing from the junkyard and bring it and go to look at and buy a car. It would be awesome if you could actually take parts off of the cars and buy them individually instead of having to buy the whole car. I built me a few creations where it's... I refuse to, which I'll probably end up doing a couple of those challenges now that I'm back, or now that I'm recording, where I don't go to the store to buy parts, I only go to the junkyard. Uh, I kind of buy the glass and the lights, like the safety features and the safety stuff. I, I tend to buy that from the store only, but this time around I think I'll just specifically buy everything from the junkyard. I mean, it's going to take a while to build. I mean, I can spend most of my time in the junkyard looking for the parts. Especially like for instance on the MK4 which is the old style Impala, like 64. I, I can sit there and spend an IRL a week looking for the trunk lid, a door. That's just my luck when it comes to this. But I mean, hey, this is a fun, this is a fun way of life. Oops. Brake pad, get off of there. Lower, get off of there. I don't understand why they call them brake discs. Yeah. Everybody I know calls them brake loaders. When you buy them from the actual store, and you don't say, hey, can you can, can break this? You say brake loader. Bye bye steering rack. Bye bye shock. Or control arm. There you are. And I knew I was forgetting something. I just didn't know what it was. Bye bye baby. Oh please, I was already on you. Drop it down and pull the motor. Magical, I'm not good pop still. Eh? I'm very shocked that these 20, 25 inch wheels actually fit on that car considering it comes with four tunes from the factory. Perfect. Yeah, I put a few videos out there. Yeah. Oh, I thought I bought some fuel tanks. Huh. I'm gonna buy some right now. Alright, 
one's lost. What are we doing up here? Oh, it's be a. Always got to buy the performance. Always. Performance middle muffler and rear muffler. Oh, Probably in the next part, what I'm going to do is I'll maybe go to the car auction with you guys and expensive one. The Ferrari F40 is pretty expensive. It's one of my favorite cars to build. Make the most money off of it. So don't Camaro. Almost done the rear. I'm just gonna put in the little rubber bushing. Stop like a ratchet starting to break. Sounded like it. Like I said, I do it my way when it comes to doing this. That was in a kind of, it's almost like around the car in 20 seconds. This is going to be a coilover. Notorious for getting the other tire rods, and I wonder, hmm, why doesn't the wheel go on? I also don't understand about this. I can go to the to the dime with no body parts. Ah, oh, crap. But yet, or let me rephrase that. I can go race the car on the track with no body panels on it, no nothing. But you better not go if you have a, bu a bushing missing. You have to do the bushing first.
I like to do the upper control arm first. Whenever I get the right one. Get that all lined in, straightened out. Gonna do the lower since it's got the shock and the sway bar and link attached to it. Almost done, almost done boss, almost done. See? Tie rod. Alright, see what the finished product looks like. Actually, I could work with that. Actually, this doesn't look half bad. A lot better than I thought it was going to look like, actually. But, alright. That's going to be the end of this one. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. And hopefully I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a good, have a good one. Bye-bye.